Georgia Michaladis, born in Limassol, Cyprus, a bridge of cultures between Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Georgia, we're so happy to have you with us today. How are you? I'm well, thanks, and I'm very happy to be with you. I think this is so great. Georgia, with all this influence in art, in your land, in Cyprus, how do you develop your signature with natural forms in your paintings? Actually, nature did not happen in Cyprus because I lived in South Africa for 28 years. I understand. So the nature revelation happened to me in South Africa in the Cape District because I used to live in Johannesburg and then I moved down to the coast in a place called Neisner, which is one of the most beautiful natural places in South Africa. And I was so overwhelmed by the nature of the place that I started painting nature then. And I actually haven't stopped, it's just different things. I used to paint sea and rocks in Meisner. And now I have moved on to flowers for the last, I don't know, 10 years probably. But nature is the major, the moving force in my work. This is what inspires me and this is what I want to paint. That is a fascinating point of view, the moving force in you. I like that line. Georgia, you obtained a bachelor's in fine art and a master's in fine art in South Africa. In, in Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Thank you for correcting me. That's right. Now you are also doing a master in history of art. How do you feel as an artist today? Are you happy with the results? I'm very happy with what I'm painting now. I think the work has, I think what I'm doing now is a culmination of everything I have done so far. And I'm very pleased because I haven't stopped. I haven't been repeating myself, even though I've been painting flowers, the paintings follow a development. It's not an enforced one. It just, they move naturally. And well, I don't like repeating myself. So I make a point of thinking about new ways of doing things. But basically, it's a two way thing, you know, you paint and the painting speaks to you and the painting gives you information and you take it from there and it's a relationship, really, isn't it? It is a relationship, no doubt about it. If you needed to restart your career as an artist, what would you do differently? I don't think I would do anything differently. Okay. Because it's like, it's the same thing, you know, it's, if I apply the question to my life, because I've asked that of myself, you know, would I have done something differently? And I think, no, I wouldn't have liked to have done anything differently. Because what I am today is what I have lived through. So and it's works. the same as the point. I have been through all these experiences. I've done my mistakes like everybody else. Uh, I have lived a life. And now I'm at a stage when this life is creating these paintings and hopefully I will just carry on until I drop you know one day <laughs> hopefully I will carry on painting until I'm no longer here it is so delightful to hear all these experiences and thoughts from the artist itself who is the artist that influence your art I, th <laughs> I think that's obvious <laughs> um, I think the only one I can think of is obviously Georgia Key. Of course. Even though, when I started painting the 
I had stopped myself from painting the enlarged flowers because I had said to myself, Georgia O'Keeffe has done that, you know. So what is the point of you doing it? So that stopped me until eventually one day a friend said, you know, why don't you paint large flowers? And I thought, yes, actually, why not? I mean, people didn't stop painting human beings because Michelangelo painted them. Exactly. So why should I not paint flowers because George O'Keefe painted them? Completely agree. So I would say that's a, a major influence. And I also had the great honor of participating in a tribute to Georgia O'Keeffe exhibition, Beautiful. which was in Spain Beautiful. Uh, at the end of 2019-2020. So that was a lovely experience because, I don't know, it was, was a tribute to Georgia O'Keeffe and there I was yeah, participating. Yeah. What an honor. That was nice, yeah.